Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to show you how to install Laravel Herd, MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. So basically you can uh, develop new Laravel project with MySQL database and you can use uh, PHP MyAdmin as well uh, during the uh, development. Uh, I think don't need to introduce Laravel Herd for you. I think uh, if you interested in Laravel development, you should you should see many videos about uh, Laravel Herd. It's a great, fantastic tool for developers in uh, PHP and uh, Laravel world. But uh, I haven't seen any video uh, how to use Laravel Herd, MySQL, and PHP MyAdmin together during the Laravel project development. So this is what I'm going to show to you now. Okay, so first of all, let's install Laravel Herd if you haven't yet. Uh, so let's just type in, in Google Laravel Herd and the very first link should take you here and click on download for Windows. It's a very easy setup. Close the window. You should have a herd icon on your desktop now. Double click on it. And uh, I previously installed herd and that's why uh, I can't see the next step basically. But uh, if you clicked, if you double clicked on Laravel herd uh, icon on your desktop, you should see uh, PHP downloading and Node.js downloading as well. Then it redirects you to the herd website. If you get redirected to the uh, herd website, it means everything is installed successfully. And now you should come down to the toolbar and you should see this little icon Laravel herd down here. If you click on it, you should see Nginx and, MP, uh, and PHP is up and running. You shouldn't see any sites yet here, but if you want to, you can add new uh, Laravel 11 projects here, basically. So you can select which starter kit would you like to use for your new Laravel 11 project if you want to, or you can do it inside your uh, terminal as well. Also, one more thing uh, to know that all your project has to be inside this user, your username and the herd folder. And if, if your new Laravel project inside this herd folder, the herd will automatically detect your Laravel project and you can just go to the browser, type in your project name, dot .test and automatically serves your projects there. Okay, so now we have herd, we have Laravel 11 now and we have uh, Composer, we have PHP, we have Node.js installed by Laravel herd. Now we need to install MySQL, so let's just do that. Go to the Google and type in MySQL download and the second link will be ours. And uh, here you can download uh, MySQL for Windows. We, if you have an internet connection in the future, then the two megabyte version is enough for you. And no thanks, just start my download, click on this and it's downloaded the installer. Basically, we will leave everything as default. Uh, only thing we need to do during the installation is uh, giving a root password. Execute, downloaded. Okay, next, execute. Next, next. Okay, so we leave everything as default. As default, and here is where we have to give a root password for our local environment. So it doesn't matter what what is the password here, it's only for your local uh, development environment. I will use local pv, local pv for the root password. Click next, 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 execute and finish. Next, finish. Okay, so now we have Laravel heard, we have MySQL. Now I want MySQL, PHP, my admin as well. PHP, my admin. Download and the very first link and on the right hand uh, upside corner, click on download. It is already downloaded a, a zip file. 
So this zip file, I already downloaded previously, so I just open it. And all we need to do, basically, copy everything inside this zip folder and go to your users, your username, hurt folder, and here we need to create a new folder called PHP my admin and inside this folder we paste all the files from the zip file okay now all the files has been copied to this uh, php my admin folder if you go to the herd now on the sidebar go to the sites and as you can see we have this php my admin dot test we can visit it so let's just visit it php my admin dot test and as you can see we have php my admin up and running we have a user root and we have just uh, created this password during the installation in my case it was local pv and as you can see we have uh, mysql database with php my admin as well now let's create our new Laravel 11 project and let's see if it's working with the database as we want to. So as I mentioned, there is two ways to create a, a new Laravel project. You can use the Laravel herd GUI uh, graphic user interface if you want to. So you can add a new project here or you can do the old way uh, when you can, when you use the uh, command line and create a new Laravel project. I will use the command line. So first of all, I need to see the inside herd folder because we need to create our new projects here inside the herd folder. So let's create a new project. We can call it whatever we want. I will call it demo. And we will use breeze. It doesn't really matter anyway for now because we are not creating any project we're just creating a project but we don't do anything with it live wire we don't need dark mode past uh, we don't need any github repository okay uh, it's a bit tricky because uh, it's asking which uh, database would you like to use i will type in mysql but it still will uh, use uh, SQLite by default for some reason. But no worry, we will change it inside the environment file to MySQL and it, it, it will work works with uh, MySQL. Okay, so this new Laravel 11 project has been created. And now if we go to Laravel, Laravel herd uh, inside the site uh, tab, if we hit refresh, as you can see, we have this demo.test project here. So we can go to the browser straight away and see what is happening. If we type in demo.test, okay, we have a Laravel 11 project up and running. We can click on register and we could create a new user, but this new user is not created inside the mysql this is what i told you that during the installation it's asking what database you would like to use but by default it's still set it as a uh, sqlite so at the moment is it is using sqlite so let's log out and now what i will do i open this newly created laravel 11 project inside the vs code and as you can see inside the dot env file we have sqlite let's change it to my okay i just changed my font site so okay so db connection has to be my sql and uncomment all these lines okay so this can be stay as it is. This can be the port can be stay as it is. Database, it hasn't been created yet. So we need to create a demo database inside the PHP MyAdmin. The username is root and we, during the installation, we have provided a password, which was local PV. Okay, so it's for 
only for a local uh, environment, local development environment. Now let's create this demo uh, database. Let's create new goal demo hit create and as you can see it's absolutely empty if i hit refresh it's already detected that i changed the environment file and it's looking for now uh, the user table and session table inside the demo uh, database you can run the migration from here or from the command line as the old, old ways so you can see the inside the newly created laravel project called demo and run php artisan migrate everything was done successfully if i hit refresh now we can register a new user and now i'm sure this uh, this new user will be inside this demo database we have one user and yeah we have just created this user okay so that's it basically now you are able to install laravel herd on your windows 11 machine or windows 10 machine you can install mysql to it and you can use php my admin as well for your next uh, laravel 11 project thanks for watching and see you soon